What's up guys, it's PB Solar Bear here bringing you some Odin Sphere demo with Velvet. The full game is due out tomorrow, June 7th. Velvet, I cannot remember Velvet's background at all. I completely forgot what Velvet's story was about, but she carries a chain and it seems like crystals. Chain and gems. It seems like all their weapons have like something to do with the remain story if I can remember. I think that's all I can remember as far as that, but like all their weapons kind of, um, they come together in the story in a way I can't remember. But anyway, um, each of them do have jewels on it. Velvet is carrying two crystals on her chains and she kind of like swings it around like Kratos from God of War. It's kind of like a mid-ranged sort of combat style she has. Alright, so if you hold forward... Oh, wait, what? Okay, if you hold forward as her fourth attack, so it's one, two, and then her third attack is a like a triple swing, and then her fourth attack can either be the pincers, which I just did, or the double slap. So triple slap into double slap. And she has an air combo, which you would only see once you hit confirm with an enemy. Or connect with an enemy. She could swing with her. She can swing with her uh, her weapon, her chains. So that's pretty cool. By holding X, so you just jump into air and just hold X. Literally hold X the whole time. And you could just stay in air forever. I think she has a double jump. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm um, holding square blocks, holding down crouches. She does like a little sweep attack, a little slide. Wait, I just did. Oh, there we go. If you charge, she does. If you charge slightly, she does like a little whip attack. If you charge all the way up, though, she does her little. Um, I don't know what you would call that. It's like spikes? Spike attack? which hits a lot more than what it looks like. If you look at the top of the map, or top of the screen, you'll see a little mini-map showing like how many times it actually does really hit, and it, it is a lot. My favorite combo to do with her is um, her three-hit square combo, so square, square, and then triple slap into the charged up um, spikes. So it goes some, some, something like this. Uh, one, two, three, and then that. So believe it or not, that looks a little slow, but the, the triple slap does stun enemies, so they're kind of like flinched there for a second, keeping them there long enough for you to do that um, spike attack. Now let's look at some of her moves. So she has a sling whip, bouncing, or dancing chains, I thought it said bouncing chains, so sling whip is pressing quarter circle back, or quarter circle forward, so that's a sling whip, and she does dancing chain which is down up so I think we're gonna be seeing more of that it seems like they they, they both look identical but I'm pretty sure when you use it against on monsters it's gonna be a little different so she does like this little slam attack which reminds me of Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time from like Super Nintendo Sega Genesis she like slams back and forth Oh wow, you can do that like multiple times, holy shit. I don't know, I think she's like auto-blocking. Me I, me blocking right there was like, it automatically happened. I don't know what mechanic that is. I don't know if that's just velvet, but I just like auto-blocked without doing anything. Holding up and square does like an uppercut attack. It's ba basically up and square with any character is like sort of a launcher for the most part. So you do one, two, three, and then go into the upward and in, upwards into there. So that's pretty cool to extend the combo even longer. Very colorful, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh wow! That was ridiculous. So that was the sling whip. 
No, was it Spring Week? No, it was Dancing Chain. Excuse me, that was Dancing Chain. That was actually really good. So if there's enemies in a line like that, it can. It's basically a piercing attack that goes through everyone. Oh, it actually homes too. Wow, that's really good. That's really really good. That's pretty cool. That's probably going to be my bread and butter attack. Honestly. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that crushed her guard. Alright, what else do we have? We have Flare Shot and Flame Road. Flame Road takes a lot of crystals away. Flare Shot... Um... It only takes six. That's not too bad. Need a character with one frame links? Get out of here. Get out of here. I uh... A Duke in Motion. Oh, that's pretty good. So she kind of like jumps into the air and like throws down like flamethrower on the enemy. Which is pretty good. It, it, it's, I'd say it's most useful to keep them in one spot so you can kind of do whatever you want. Oh. Wow, I did not mean to do that. That was so dirty. That was so dirty. Yeah, it's, it's like she's auto-blocking. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about, but she's automatically blocking attacks. It's kind of like Tekken, where you don't, if you don't press anything, you block everything. It's like that. Like, I guess I wasn't pressing anything at the moment he was attacking, and I blocked. I don't know. I don't know what's triggering that, but it's happening. I'm glad you're enjoying the, uh, the string, man. I grew up on games like this. Streets of Rage, bruh. I know you remember that one. My favorite game of all time on Sega Genesis. Fa favorite game of all time has to be Donkey Kong Country 2. But on Sega Genesis, favorite game hands down is Streets of Rage 2. That's in my top five. I don't think I've, I could ever beat that game on hard, though. Woo! Oh, I got stunned. I don't even know how that happened. Oh! Alright, I know how the second one happened. Oh, that's pretty cool. She has like a little get over here attack like scorpion but she goes towards the enemy and that you can only do that in the air oh all right let's hit him with a uh, magic potion here hit him with cyclone Woo! Should have killed him like that. Let's kill him like that. The Jack Slam from from Mortal Kombat. Oh! I didn't grab him, but I slam I, I I um slammed the enemy into him, which did I guess the same amount of damage. So Velvet seems like she has like a lot of uh, good crowd control. Like her and Mercedes definitely have the best crowd control from what I remember. I'm like like trying to think about it as I'm saying it. I was not a fan of Streets of Rage. What? But I was a fan of, uh, fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Side Scroller. Yeah. So you remember that slam? 
Slam back and forth. I know you remember that. That was like my favorite move in that game. That is definitely um, apparent with Velvet. You could definitely do that shit. Alright, so I, from what I remember, the only way to really level up in this game is by eating. Not by drinking potions, but eating. So like, eating grapes and other fruits level up, level you up. And when you level up, you actually gain a bunch of different things like max health and power and all that. But I don't think it does anything for you in the demo. But I'm pretty sure leveling up unlocks new, new moves as well. We're going to do the same thing we did with the others, which is to buy overload. I wouldn't sell anything because you get back nothing for it, like I referenced before GameStop. I burn the GameStop, you get by five dollars for a sixty dollar game. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the overload. With the volcano. That's my favorite combo. Actually might as well just hit the uh let's go ahead and hit the toxin too. Yeah, he's gonna be hitting me, but it's not gonna be doing that much damage. Oh, he stunned me, but again, doesn't do that much damage. So they just I think they just make you so overpowered for the demo. There we go. There we go. I was trying to hit it back at him, but we traded. So he's gonna try to suck you in and then spit you out and then it does like stun damage on top of regular raw damage. That's what that move was about. I gotta block this. Oh that was a waste. Oh I wasted that shit. Where is he? Oh, let's hit him with the, um... I gotta block this, too. Woo! He crushed my guard. Alright, let's hit him with the, uh, Flame Road. There we go. That's like her super... That's like her best move right there. This Flame Road. That is, like... I can imagine throwing down Toxin, Volcano, and then Flame Road like that. Oh, my gosh. I should've did that earlier, actually. That's pretty good. So, I think the strongest character... I honestly think the strongest character is going to be Mercedes because of her kiting ability. Um, she's probably never going to get hit. Right after that, most damaging is Oswald. Most mo most mobility is going to be um, Cornelius. I feel like the most like the all-around character who has like a little bit of everything is going to be Gwendolyn. She's kind of like the Ryu of the game, I would say. She's definitely the one that's the most versatile. And then, um, finally there's Velvet, who has, like, I think the most crowd control aside from Mercedes. Mercedes is just broken, in my opinion. I think she's the most broken character, but Velvet has the most CC, so crowd control. So I think every character really differentiates themselves from each other, and it's going to be a really crazy game because each experience is going to be different, and this, it's only all this good gameplay is only going to be backed up with a really great story. So I'm definitely looking forward to the game uh, June 7th.